Hi creators, this is Dora Kylie with creationcoach.com and I hope you all had a good weekend. I had a fantastic weekend. I went on a hike with my daughter up to the top of a mountain. I got to show this picture here. And uh, we went up there and we had a little picnic. So, and, oh, and all along the way, I was pulling out my camera left and right. There were so many new plants to see. And I took a picture of this one. This is a blood root and it struck me as such a beautiful leaf. I had to know more about it. Um, it is used medicinally, um, um, mostly as a s topical skin um, salve for uh, all kinds of like warts and skin tags and even skin cancers. Um, it's used for that and, and you find it apparently in toothpastes. It's good for the gums. Uh, to fight gingivitis. So yeah, everything out there is just so mysterious and beautiful. So that's my adventure. And I did have a beautiful walk today, um, but I kind of went out and came right back. I didn't uh, take any pictures today. I've been doing a lot of walking this weekend. Anyway, today's talk. I am really wanting to, um, I guess it's a, it's a shout out to to wake up we we need to wake up I, I mean you know we could we could just go through everything solid asleep but i think if we wake up right now um things could look better in the future but if we go sleepwalking into into uh, this timeline that we are on um it could be a problem um so, and that's only because we're vibrating at this level. There are millions of different, uh, there's a, a helicopter going overhead that's so loud and unusual right now for this area, but <laughs> they're checking up on, I don't know, something. But, um, so yeah, this is a, this is an opportunity, I think, for us to wake up. We have to wake up because we are on a timeline that is going in a potential direction that we don't want to go in, most of us. Um, and I'm in seeing this as um, we got to pay attention to what's going on. Um, there is a, this is like your kids coming home from school with, uh, with parasites. <laughs> you know, you got lice in the house now. And it's not that we have to freak out, it's just that we have to be aware of it. And the more we can pay attention <coughs> and uh, sort of find out what's going on and where is it and what do we need to do, we just approach this as adults, as, you know, shout out to all the moms. I mean, this is what moms do, right? We have to deal with um, tantrums and parasites and, you know, this is, this is just part of taking care of, of, um, of our family. So, so we are right now on a trajectory that is going towards uh, infestation. I mean, if you don't treat it, that's what happens. Um, so what my feeling is, is that the best thing to do right now is just to, to acknowledge it. I think a lot, I think the majority of people are still not really paying attention. So what I'm talking about is um, there, there is a what's leading into what's going to be called a social credit score system. And it's being enacted around the world. Of course, China has been the, um, the, the jumping off point for this, which started many years ago already. And what it is, is essentially all money becomes digitized. Okay, we're moving in that direction pretty easily. And then they use, if they, if they know enough about you, then they can begin to give you credit uh, score. So your credit goes up if you behave correctly. And your, your credit scores and your, your freedoms can go down if, um, if you're not behaving correctly. So it's a training system. Um, so they, they want to train us and then 
And th when I say they, this is not a boogeyman thing. This is just what happens when you let power kind of get out of balance. And that's what I'm referring to as an infestation. It's not a very becoming word, but it's basically just an imbalance of the, the health of our planet and, our, and of ourselves as a species. Um, we, we want to bring it back into balance. And first thing that requires is pay attention. Where, where is it? What's going on? Um, and that's, that's, I think, the only thing that, that can really begin to change things is be aware of what's going on. It's coming into the school systems. It's, uh, I'm, I'm going to share a little Russell Brand video below <clears throat> how they are, um, you know, and, and I know that it's, when I say they, I'm not doing a fear mongering thing. I'm trying to say there is an imbalance here and there's an imbalance on one side and we want to bring it back into balance. Okay. We don't want this out of balance problem. So the thing that's causing the out of balance is this pressure to move us into a social credit score system. Um, I think Americans are waking up to it. I think, unfortunately, a number of uh, countries have already kind of gone beyond the, the easy to come back to center point. Um, but we have a, a good chance, I think, in this country, in, in the United States and, and in uh, the UK and, and certain areas around Europe. But um, we want to be able to at least acknowledge what's going on, because if we don't, then we've got a bigger problem. Um, you know, you, you have to get rid of the lice. <laughs> And I'm not talking about any violence or anything. I'm just saying first be aware of it and isolate the, the issue. Um, and with, with that, I think, you know, you can go down all kinds of rabbit holes about where's this coming from, who's the bad guys, and, you know, oh, we could talk about aliens and the WEF and billionaires and corporations. And, um, and I can go down all those. In fact, I just for fun and what I what actually resonates with me is another video I'll share below um, that is about UFOs and aliens. And um, and I and I say that because at the end of this interview that he does, uh, this uh, Dr. Stephen Greer, um, he, he says, "Don't be surprised." if the uh, the imbalance, as there's such a push to maintain a level of fear in the world, as people are becoming more and more like, you know, oh, well, what's next? You know, here comes World War III. And, you know, there's all of these attempts to, to uh, make people afraid that we're kind of reaching burnout. It's like, well, okay, now what? So that, that what <laughs> Dr. Greer says, one of the last stands that they will stage is um, is uh, a an, an, an hostile alien invasion. <laughs> so, oh boy, we should be ready for that. But um, yeah, I don't think that's going to be real at all. We, we, a lot of people might fall for it, but I'm not going to fall for it because honestly, I don't think higher consciousnesses out there think the way we do. Um, they, we are the, the danger <laughs> to the universe, not, not any, any that I know of um, uh, consciousness out there. Anyway, that, that goes down in a whole other rabbit hole. I, I do love to talk about aliens and Stephen Greer and uh, what he's doing and what's real and what's not real, but um, I don't think I don't think we need to go down that rabbit hole in order to just acknowledge what is going on in the world. This move towards a global uh, control center, the, the global um, governing body that is formulating and, and is kind of infiltrating all the countries. Um, 
uh, and you can see that in, in Canada and uh, many countries over or in Europe already. Obviously, China's already there. I don't know what's going on with Russia and Ukraine. That's, uh, in my view, actually, that's, that's almost like a diversion. I don't know. I don't know. Um, so with all of that, then the, the last video that I want to share is... Um, it's a Sadhguru video about uh, about about death, I guess. It's about, you know, if you can have everything, what do you want? And one person in the audience says, oh, I'd love to have a, the job of my dreams, okay? So then Sadhguru says, okay, so here you have all the, your best job in the whole world and you're there for 20 years, now what? Uh, okay, now you want to go higher and higher and higher. Okay, now you're a multi-billionaire ruling the world. Uh, now what? Now what? What do you want? Is that what you want? Um, and that's why he he's uh, recommending, as do I, that meditation takes care of that inner need for more and more and more because basically that is coming out of a sense of insecurity and of course we know insecurity is based on the fear of death uh, so um, any person who is addicted to this power uh, you know which is I understand addictions um, and they're hard to manage uh, and they can escalate uh, to the point of no return. So what do we what are we doing with this infestation that we have that is um, basically people running the world who are disabled? They have this fear, this power addiction to control. And they do a very good job. And you know what? They may be good-hearted people. I'm not saying, they're bad people. In fact, I, I would hope that most of them are implementing these changes. You know, poor uh, Justin Trudeau, I, I think he means well, you know. I, I don't know that he's like a demon or anything. But this, uh, this you, you can see how easily a good people can be drawn into this. Um, it seems to answer so many questions for the, the health of the planet. And, but in fact, it's, it's uh, an illusion. That is an illusion. We, are, we cannot go down this avenue that is being orchestrated by people who have a need for more and more and more power. Uh, when the whole world falls under that... Uh, control uh, management um, governance system, then there's nobody really to come and <laughs> rescue us. But you know what? We, are, we don't need to be rescued because we are the majority. What are they going to do? They're going to have soldiers and police coming and, and knocking us all off. No, this, this, this doesn't happen. Um, well, you know what, just the fact that you that I can think of it means it's happening on some timeline. So let's not go that way. <laughs> that would be a disaster. Um, no, we're just people. And I feel like, you know, the best thing we can do right now is get to know our neighbors, uh, you know, lift our hearts a little bit. We're so mired in this dread and, and doom. Why don't we put a smile on our face, help people more, and acknowledge, mothers have to acknowledge that we have a baby here called our planet that has an infestation that we want to acknowledge. We cannot keep turning a blind eye to it. It's just going to spread. Um, so that whole spiel here that I just gave you was definitely off my usual beaten trail. I don't usually go down this rabbit hole, but I do think... Um, that we need to, to treat an illness that is going on in the world. And, you know, if, if we don't take care of it now, and mothers, I know you all know this, that if we don't take care of our kids now, they actually can grow up to be bigger than we are. 
So now is the time to, um, to first see what's going on. Just to, let's examine the situation. We're going into a um, global governance system that will be uh, controlled through digital currency and a digital uh, credit scoring system to to control everybody. So, so if you misbehave, it can go so far as if you misbehave, you 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 won't get your your um, your your groceries, or you won't be able to drive your car, or or you won't be able to go see your mother at the you know nursing home. So, all of these things are controllable once we become. Uh, totally enmeshed in the credit scoring system. So let's be aware of that. Let's pay attention. Um, this is something I don't think we really want to do. And I don't, I don't, ultimately in my timeline, it's not going to happen. So, so let's focus in that direction. It's like, mm -mm, not going that way. So I'm going to put the link below with the Russell brand. I know he's very dynamic and dramatic. And um, I think he's pretty funny. He's a, he's a funny, he's started out as a comedian and he still has that energy. So I, I'll share that. I'll share the uh, Dr. Stephen Greer video below. Um, and I'll put in that Sadhguru uh, contemplation um, on what we want. So with that, I hope we all stay creative. Hi creators, it's Dora Kylie with creationcoach.com and I'm on a mission to improve this world through you. If you get anything through these videos, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe and we'll see you on the next one. Stay creative.